What's up guys, in this video we are covering the brand new version 6.0 Lux Algo Oscillator Matrix, which has completely revamped the Lux Algo Oscillator's premium toolkit as a part of the Lux Algo Premium Suite, and this has really brought this product up to par with the signals and overlays indicator, as well as the Lux Algo price action concepts, as it's really taken all of the previous components that we've had and organized it into a more simple panel that really combines everything together. It's quite similar to the advanced version of the previous version five, but what we're gonna get into in this video is how all of these components work, how you can use this as a complete systemized approach to trading, some of the really unique new features that we've incorporated into this indicator. Okay, so let's get into all of the components of the indicator right now. And to make this easy, I'm gonna go through it pretty much one by one through each section. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna disable all of the stuff relating to the hyperwave section here. We're gonna make this fully transparent and we're even gonna disable those divergences, okay? So this here that's remaining on the chart is the smart money flow right here, this category here, which contains three separate components. The reversal signals, which are completely separate from all algorithms in the oscillator matrix, as well as the confluence section, which takes into account all of the components within the indicator and shows them as bullish, very bullish or bearish and very bearish on the bottom of the chart. And there's also uh, some additional stuff there, which we can get into later, like the uh, confluence meter. But let's go into the smart money flow. The basic premise of this is these green and red waves, which indicate when there is money coming into the market or there's money consistently coming out of the market. So this is the typical first thing that you want to put into your analysis is to analyze the money flow. If you can tell that there's significant money coming into the market or there's significant money coming out of the market, then that is a great first piece of your analysis to consider the next components of the indicator to try and catch reversals or try and predict upcoming trends, right? And the really powerful thing about the smart money flow category is that there's many components to help you really get a lot of details about what's happening with the money that's entering and exiting the market. My favorite thing about this is that with the thresholds, which are these lines that show you where significant money would be coming in or leaving the market if the money flow was near them, is that if the money flow is actually significantly far away from these thresholds, you can immediately have a good indication that the market is ranging. So this is a super easy way to immediately identify if any market is ranging or trending. Comparing that to these two examples right here, where the money flow is going below the threshold line, right? And then it's consistently holding near it, right? The money flow is interacting, it's coming back, it's clearly interacting with the threshold line, indicating that there is significant selling pressure. And that was all happening before we got this large impulse to the downside. And that's a great piece of analysis to just know when there is likely a high possibility for such an impulse uh, to the downside. You can see this exact same thing happen here with impulses to the upside. When you are seeing money flow interacting with its threshold, and especially when you see the threshold itself actually increasing with the money flow, that's when you're getting extremely bullish price action and you can really consider some large impulses to be occurring to the upside soon. And that's exactly what we see here with this uh, pretty much parabolic move uh, here on the hourly chart. And what you'll notice here, 
uh, you've probably been wondering what this wave is right here, this lighter wave. This is indicating overflow. So it's excess buyers coming into the market. The actual strategy to trading with this overflow in your analysis properly for analyzing the money flow here is to wait for it to discontinue, right? So as soon as this overflow actually stopped, that was right here. That is when we were confident that the buyers have likely completely exhausted themselves and we should not consider any more impulses to the upside unless we see something obvious on the money flow next. It's like the market needs to reset itself or there's been a significant reversal that is likely taking place. You can notice that here on the upside as well over here on the downside, right as the market was bottoming out, you got that indication of an overflow of selling pressure. And as soon as that completed, we were confident that the sellers have been completely exhausted out and we could potentially expect a larger reversal, which is exactly what played out right here. A very large impulse was starting as this overflow completed. And you can see that on these previous downtrends, there was no overflow. That's indicating to us that there are still significant sellers and there's really not a high probability of that bearish trend being over yet. And of course there can be small fake outs like up here, but once you see something like this, where clearly the buying volume is not near its threshold to consider that realistic, then you can see that you have a trend to the downside as well. So that is the basic way to interpret the smart money flow category. Now let's go back into the settings and actually enable the hyperwave oscillator and its real-time divergences and see how we can use that together to get better indications for analyzing the price action. Okay, so we have the hyperwave oscillator enabled here, which is just this green and gray ribbon, also giving us these real-time divergence signals that are appearing with the red and blue labels. And what this oscillator is meant to display is the momentum in the market, okay? And it's really helpful for identifying potential upcoming impulse moves and trends, right? So using this oscillator in combination with the analysis that we just went over of the smart money flow category is extremely powerful. And that's specifically what we designed this indicator for. So some basic examples and usability for this indicator is when this oscillator is generally moving below the 50 level, like down here, especially when it is below the 20 level, you can see the values right here, that is when you're going to get some bearish price action like this. If the oscillator is specifically holding down here, that's indicating we are in a bearish trend. So you may see some counter signals while this is occurring, but as long as you can look for the higher probability reversal signals, like this overflow here, as well as in combination with a large reversal signal on the bottom of the oscillator and this bullish divergence, that's when you can get confident in seeing a larger reversal after a significant trend like this. And the same goes for the upside. We're looking for the oscillator to hold above the 50 level. If the hyperwave oscillator is holding up here, that's when we're likely to see bullish impulses to the upside. And we can notice as it began coiling after this bullish divergence right here, we can see the oscillator is coiling up, going over the 50 level, and that all occurred before we even got any impulse, which gave us a clear indication that this impulse to the upside is likely to occur, especially when considering the money flow was nowhere near its threshold down here. That's when we got this huge move going to the upside. And you can see further that, of course, we have these reversal signals, right? You can consider these reversal signals alongside that analysis of money flow as well as the divergences that we went over earlier, right? So around here, we can see there is overflow. And as soon as it stops, we can notice that this is at the very top 
of this impulse and it's giving us an early indication that the market is likely to have a reversal to the downside. We can see that the money flow is now dropping below the threshold and holding below. We already have the hyperwave oscillator that has turned over and we have an active larger reversal signal that occurred right up here. So we are certainly looking for the move down and what can we see? We got this large impulse move right after all of those indications occurred. So that's the general process of actually using all of the components in this indicator together to consider these reversal signals as well as spot potential trends. These bars on the top and bottom of the oscillator are meant to combine multiple features to give you very simple indications of when all of them are lining up to indicate a likely downtrend when it's bright red or when all of them are lining up to indicate a likely uptrend when it is bright green. And these are called the confluence zones that you can enable within the confluence section of the indicator. These are all stylable. You have the styling options for literally every single feature in here. So you can customize it however you like. You can adjust the settings of the reversal signals as well. If you find there's too many or you just want to have the more significant ones displaying on your chart. And also to note is that these small reversal dots are just shorter term price action reversal signals that can also be useful as a potential warning sign to an upcoming larger reversal. So you'll find when the market is in a very clean range, just like here, when the money flow is not interacting with the thresholds at all, you can maybe put a bit more consideration into those actual reversal signals to find potential moves up or down. And that's only considering the shorter term price action. And you can also use those reversal signals as nice indications for local tops or local bottoms within these established trends. So you'll notice that at these areas where the money flow is not really too significant, we can see how these are playing out like that example. And even further, you can see there was a dot here, price came down, there was some overflow right here. Um, generally speaking, you're not seeing uh, too much money flow coming in. Um, and this is a very stationary area uh, for the price. The price is ranging and you can tell that um, because the price is dropping and the money flow isn't really even entering the red it's just kind of stagnant here in the green so it just goes further to show how important it is to first analyze the money flow and what the buying and selling pressure generally is because identifying the actual market conditions before you consider these reversal signals, the divergences, and the hyperwave oscillator, you're gonna be putting yourself in a lot better of a position while analyzing markets. Okay, so hopefully this video really gave you a clear understanding of how this product is meant to be used, the ways to interpret the indicator and use it specifically to get confluence to find reversals and see the momentum on this secondary layer for your charts. Uh, we really think there is a lot of great usability that you can get by integrating it into your setups with the Lux Algo price action concepts, as well as the Lux Algo signals and overlays indicator, which of course are our other two premium indicators that you can get access to on luxalgo.com. So links down below in the description to get access to all of these indicators. And if you're an active member to get this update, the Lux Algo Oscillator Matrix 6.0, Make sure to first remove the indicator from your chart, refresh TradingView on your browser or TradingView mobile app, and then go ahead and add the indicators back from your invite only scripts. And you will see the Lux Algo Oscillator Matrix 6.0 fully loaded up here on your chart. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.